afternoon, welcome to We Repair. Uh, so today we're working on a Samsung Galaxy S20. This is the SMG 986B specific model. Um, so we're going to work through and see if we can repair this. You're seeing as I, I have, I have had a, a very brief look in the box, but not gone any further than that. This is one that I've bought off of eBay, um, and this is how it's arrived. Um, so you can pretty much see quite quickly what we're why we're repairing this. We're smashed up here, and uh, if we try and turn it on, it might have some charge in it. You can see that the screen is a little bit unhappy as well. Um, not that it shows up yet, but there are black marks across the top of the screen. There you go, it started to do its thing now. So the screen has, has fundamentally failed and we need to get this repaired. Uh, I think someone's been at this before because the back is a little bit lifted, so I'm just wondering yeah, we can. So I think someone's been in this before, which is fine, assuming they haven't fiddled with it too much. Um, so we're going to give this a repair and see how far we can get. And there you go, you can see the state of the screen. Top half is a little bit funny, and uh, and we've got some flickering, and, and we've got a black blob on there, so we're going to give this a repair today. Now let's just flick it back off if we can. Power off. Right. So, with this one, obviously this has been repaired before, well not been repaired before, but been opened before, so we'll give this, we'll have to give this a bit of a clean up to reuse this, but I will reuse it. A couple of caveats on this. Now, the screens on these are 160 odd pounds, which is probably close to $200, which is a little bit extreme to, to actually um, pay out to repair. So I am using a, a third party screen. Now, this has come from eBay, so cards on the table. Um, this was something like 45, 50 pounds. It wasn't particularly expensive. Um, and they do talk about not updating it because um, it, it has some kind of impact on the screen. I guess there's a controller or something in the screen. So I don't know what that's going to have. Also, there is a fingerprint sensor under the screen on the on this particularly particular model. I don't know if that's gonna work either. So this is gonna be a little bit of discovery. I've not done one of these before, so we're gonna we're gonna have a go and see how far we can get. So I think we'll just start by removing a few screws and see what comes out, what doesn't. I'm assuming there's gonna be a battery under here. If it's like any of the other Samsungs, this is gonna lift up. We're going to have to take this off and then we can probably lift the screen. Let's just make sure there's no... Yeah, so there you go. So there's our battery and things. So let's let's start at the top here. I think by the looks of this metal plate that's up here is going to be what we need to get removed first. Which hopefully is really straightforward. If we can get this metal plate out then that should help us massively. Screws on this are all the same size, so, or at least they are so far, so shouldn't need to worry too much about mixing them up, which is grand. Let's see if this wants to lift out now. Do we reckon there's gonna be some sneaky screws? Or, uh, okay, so it's connected to this plastic piece up here as well, so plastic bit as well, we're gonna unscrew. All part of one piece. We're doing this really so we can isolate the battery. Very first thing we want to do. So if we can now have a go at lifting this out. There we go, look, it is going. Let's see if these screws want to come. There's that one. I have undone them all the way, they're just not wanting to come out. There we go. Bit of a wiggle. I think this has been stuck down before because this looks like fresh adhesive. Cool, so that's that out. That looks like the wireless charger. Yeah, you can just see the coil under the under the thing there. So I think that's the wireless charger. Um, there is a connection up there which I've unwittingly undone that was plugged in here. So battery next. That's done. And then we'll start lifting stuff out. I'm going to have to transfer everything, so I'm going to have to disconnect it all regardless. Don't know how this board comes out. I can see one screw here. There's a screw up here by the camera as well. 
We'll come back to that in just a minute. I'm going to come down here to this, um, what I'm suspecting is the speaker assembly. Again, these screws all are the same size seemingly as the top ones, so that's good. Yeah, someone's definitely tried to replace that back previously. I guess it was smashed at some point. Right, is this going to come out? Yes. My issue is that where someone's replaced the back previously, they've got adhesive just stuck to it, everything. There we are. Oh, that's not a good sign. We might have a little bit of water damage on our hands because that's bright red. But we'll keep going nonetheless. So we'll take that flex off. Take that flex off. And again, a few screws down the bottom here. I'm hoping this board will just come out in one nice piece. This is really good so far, Samsung. All of these screws are exactly the same size, which is brilliant. Um, so is this board just going to come out? Let's just get under there with a plastic spudger and see if it will free it. I don't, just want to give it a bit of a wiggle. I don't actually want to put too much force against it because I'm slightly concerned I'm going to break it. There we go. So that's our charge board there. A bit grubby, but all in good working order. Well, at least I hope it is. Okay, so our vibrate motor is just here. We're going to have to try and get this out because I do need to transfer it. Is it going to move at all? No. So I think what I'll probably do is come back in a minute and just heat this up uh, a little bit and just see if we can get it to move at all. Because at the moment there is just nothing in there. Oh, there is a little bit of a wiggle. Let's just try getting in there with something a bit metal. Oh, there you go. Might be all right. That's well stuck in. Cool. There's our vibrate motor. That's out. Uh, battery. Is there any pull tape on this? There's no pull tabs on it, so I don't know if this has been out before, or if this is a fresh battery or what. We're going to have to get something in there and wiggle that in a minute, but I'll do that last. Let's come down here to the board next. So I'm going to start just by undoing the screws that I can see, which is here and up here on the camera. I uh, can't see it anymore. Right, so now we've got our screws out. Before I go any further, I just want to get this SIM tray out before I forget, because um, the last thing I want to do is try and lift that board out whilst that's in there, because we're asking for trouble. So that's done. Uh, okay, let's try and get at this with a pry tool. Uh, mustn't forget this camera as well, because I don't think that's going to come with it. Let me just see if we can get this up. Perfect, that's out. And I'm hoping that then we can just wiggle it out at that point because there's no screws. Yeah, there you go, it's going, no problem. There we are, so that's the board out. Okay, now we've got our motherboard out. I'm gonna pop some heat on this and just see if I can use it to loosen up the battery and also these two up here, the camera. And I, I don't know what this is. I'm not sure if it's a fingerprint sensor or what it is, but sort of see on the existing one that there's something that sits it right up against the screen. So I thought the sensor was here, but maybe I'm wrong. So let's heat this up and see if we can get those other parts out. We'll come back in just a second. Right, this is slightly too hot to touch now. So we'll just, we're gonna have a go. I have got a metal pry tool here, which I shouldn't really be using, but I can't, I don't think I can get anything else in here to do this. So I'm just gonna be very, very gentle. Let's see if this will come. There we go. I'm not sure what that is, but we'll just carefully put it off to one side. And again, same for the camera. I 
and it's just glued in exceptionally well. There we go, one camera. And then finally, this one I'm not going to use a pry tool with, is the battery. Now this, I've got no pull tabs on it, so I'm just going to have to hope it heats enough. It looks like it probably is going to be enough. But yeah, there we go. And we're out. Not ideal, but I can't get it out any other way, so I think we've got no choice but reuse. So there we go. I think that is everything out of the current frame. We've got all the cameras and things released. There might be the odd grommet down here that we'll need, but let's stick it back together and see how far we get. Um, we've obviously got a black frame instead of a silver frame. Um, not that that's a problem. Probably going to get a new back for it anyway. So let's have a go and see how far we can get. I'm just going to stick this piece in first. I'm not sure what it is, and quite frankly, I'm quite. I'm a little bit concerned. It's sensitive, and it needs to be sealed from dust. So I'm going to do that quite quickly. Get that back into place, and I'll pop our front camera in as well, just so that that's out of the way. There we go. Those are both out of the way now. Uh, right, so where should we start? Let's do our vibrate motor first. Lush, and then we'll go with our uh, bottom charge port assembly. I'm hoping it will just wiggle into place. He says, try not to force it. Let's just turn this around so we can get a better view. I just don't want to force anything in, that's all. If it's going to be there's any risk, I'll just take it back out and have another go. No, I think that's fine. Okay, that's into position. Uh, we can't do that yet. There is a bit of flex and I'm still not overly happy with that. Let's just get it back out one more time and just have another look. It's just lots of pads it has to make contact with, that's all. You can sort of see all the various gold pads, but it is, it is making contact with all of them and it is lined up because this is in the right place, this is in the right place. So I think it's fine. Uh, so I can't do any more there. Let's pop our board in next. So being careful of our flex cables for our camera and what I'm assuming is the side buttons. Let's do our camera. Cool, and then we've got two screws to put back in. One on the side just here. And one up by the camera, just at the top there. Cool, that's going nowhere now. Next thing we need to do is our board. Our board, our battery. You pop that in there. And we'll reconnect the LCD flex. Lush. Okay, and then we want our other two flex cables, so that's this one. Can't really get it the wrong way around because that end's labelled main and this end's labelled sub. And then again, same similar sort of thing. Another main and another sub. Right, next thing we've got to do is get our rear speaker in, but before we do that, we've got to get the three screws into the bottom assembly, otherwise we'll be asking for trouble later. Well, there's two, and number three. Right. God, Samsung, could you have put any more screws in this? That's the question. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm happy, happy for it to be well sealed up, but <laughs> it's pretty...
pretty extreme. Some of them, uh, some of the more modern phones are just not quite so easy. Right, that's that done. Plug that into there. Grab our rear cover. This is going to have to clip over, so we've got to make sure we've got everything lined up. And then we should be all right. Cool. I don't know if you heard that, but it definitely clicked into place, so that's a good sign. Everything's in the right spots. Let's grab some screws. As I say, these are all absolutely the same size, so you can't go too far wrong. Right, that doesn't stick down as well, but they never do. It'll be hidden when the back goes into place anyway. Let's pop this back in here just to be complete. And we'll just stick this on temporarily, but obviously we need to put some adhesive on it and stuff. It's just so I'm not touching the board while I turn it on. Is this gonna work? That is the question. Million dollar question, moment of truth. There we go. One Samsung Galaxy S20, absolutely. 95% repaired. So the only thing we've got to do now is, is replace this. So what I'm probably going to do is just test and see if the fingerprint sensor works. Obviously, I don't know how it's going to react because this is a this is a third party screen and not a genuine Samsung. Um, but at the moment, it does appear to be fine. Let's just click on that. And well, it's working lovely, actually. I'm very, very impressed with that. Let's just agree. Uh, skip that for the minute. I just want to get to the point where, there we go, that's what I was after. Let's see if this works. Uh, use anyway. What do we reckon? Is this going to work? Let's pick this up. I'll take the adhesive off this register. Oh, it does. That's awesome. Well, I say that, it might not be. <laughs> oh no, it is, it's just, it's a little bit funny. I'd say it's not as good as the Samsung ones originally was, but it is it is trying, there you go. It's because the circle's moving around the screen slightly. <laughs> there you go. Well, I'm not gonna go through and let you watch me do my fingerprint forever, but I think it seems okay. Um, so we'll carry on, I'll have a fiddle with this off screen. Um, and we'll do some more testing. I will update it as well. And if uh, if the update doesn't work, I will come back and I'll share the result with you and just let you know what happens. I'll give you a bit of a demo. Uh, and I'm going to get some new adhesive for this back. Uh, and I might even get a black one because I don't like the grey. Uh, and then that's about it. I think we're all good. So there you go. Not a massive video today. Didn't take too long. Um, quite quick and straightforward. Uh, straight swap out of a, a smashed screen. Few mixed results. But on the whole, I think it was quite good. Definitely need some heat and things to get the back off because it's a bit painful. Um, but yeah, hopefully useful to anyone else who sees this. If you have found it useful, please drop me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, every little helps. Um, we are growing really well at the moment. We're just on the verge of 20,000 subscribers. Um, really want to hit that in the next month or so. So if you can subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And yeah, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.